Hello and welcome on 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adini Ajishafe. Well, a lot of activities in the world of sports, but we just have to start from home scene. Talking about the MPFL, the midweek matches will be coming up in different uh, locations in Nigeria today. And a lot of uh, teams are about to ready to face uh, one another. But from the way it is, we will be uh, joining the media officer of Bender Insurance in the place of uh, Kenny De Osagade over there in Meduguri who will be uh, joining us to talk about uh, his club. Bender Insurance have been spality formed this season while we are waiting for Kennedy Osage there. Let's start with the fixtures uh, for this midweek, starting from Group A and also Group B. We have El Kanemi Warriors. They will be hosting Bender Insurance. You have Gombe United versus Shooting Stars of Ibadan. Quara United will be at home. Uh, that, that will be in Ibadan against Aqua United. Nasarawa United against Plateau United in Kaduna. Remo Stars. Uh, they were def uh, defeated by Bende Insurance during the last uh, match they play. Now they will be in Kenya to fight against Eyimba International. In Group B, you have other fixtures that will be coming up. You have Abia Warriors versus Niger Tornados. And another one has to do with uh, Bayelsa United. What can they do at the CRCR uh, Stadium over there in Yenagua against Doma? United, Dakada FC, a way to Rangers International, who are really struggling right now. Lobby Stars versus Sunshine Stars, and you have Rivers United versus Wiki Torres, who are without uh, their former coach, Kabiru Dogo, actually throwing the towel there, talking about matches slated for the midweek. Well, a lot of uh, matches there, about 10 of them in the average league. It's going to be a tough one as we look at those games so alongside uh, Kenny Deos Agade. Well, he will be joining us to talk about these matches as we actually hope to join uh, to have him on the show while we're waiting for Kenny there. But really, MPFL has really come to stay when it comes to development this season. IMC has done well by making sure everything goes well, uh, looking at the grants. They actually offer them about 10 million naira per team. And also making sure the referees, the official, officials are actually doing well when it comes to referring games, trying to see how they can at least sanitize the MPFL, while we are also uh, aware that uh, any team that their fans turns on really, they will deduct three points from their stake. A good one there, and to also let you know that in the MPFL, uh, is really uh, getting better. At least we've seen clubs now trying to take a uh, flight. Uh, maybe, hopefully, all the remaining 17 clubs will follow suit by joining Shooting Stars, Remo Star, and also Bender Insurance to take flight. So they are very well. From the way it is, MPFL is uh, at least uh, is getting better. We just have to keep uh, looking at uh, being hopeful that uh, MPFL will really get it right from the way it is. And the winner of this league. Uh, we go home with 100 million naira. So passes will be played. Three best teams from Group A, three best teams from Group B. They will be meeting themselves, and the best team will go home with 100 million naira. Well, from there, we'll be moving away from MPFL. Hopefully, Ken Deoksagade can actually join us. Uh, we we'll talk about MPFL concerning his team, Bende Insurance. While we are waiting for Kenny, let's quickly move on to talk about basketball. Basketball right now, NBA. Matches were played uh, just earlier today. We we'll quickly look at the NBA, talking about uh, uh, those games that were played. Let's look at the results as it went down. And uh, we have uh, Cleaver Cavaliers, uh, the loss against Miami Heat. They won that game 197. New York Knicks, 123 against uh, Los Angeles Lakers, 129. And you have uh, Chicago Bulls, 103 against uh, Lake Kilpas. 108. We have, we have uh, Charlotte Hornets, who scored 115 against Milwaukee Bucks, 124. And you have Denver Nugget, 122. And you have New Orleans Pelican, who actually scored 113. We have in the studio a basketball enthusiast, uh, Kabiru Lawa. Good to have you, KB. Uh, good morning. Nice to have you too, sir. Let's talk about basketball, some yes. uh, dunk and slam sport, as they call it. Exactly. Do you play basketball? Ah, well, very well. That, mm. that is part of my DNA. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right now, let's talk about that result there. Yeah. The one you just saw, uh, actually, having the LeBron James getting 28 points, uh, really edging closer uh, to breaking Al Jabbar's record. Yeah, uh, yes. Maybe we should take it one by one. Uh, okay, maybe uh, it depends on you now how you no, want no, it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> start, since you start with Lakers, mm. I'm going to start with Lakers because um, at a point in time, Lakers have not been performing so good since the history of Lakers. Mm. There's one thing that made me say this. Because LeBron James has diffused all his fans right now. Mm. Some people are saying he's playing to break the record of Karim Abdul-Jabbar. While some are saying he's playing just to carve a niche for himself and his family in LA Lakers since he said he wants 
to retire in LA Lakers. Mm. But that's not the point. Because rebound per game of LeBron James in this season is just perfect. It is perfect, perfect in, the, in the sense that, you know, per games, now uh, the last game he, they played uh, against the Knicks yesterday, he made about 28 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, which is a very good statistic for him. Mm. He is making his team grow and he's also making a name for himself. Because Karim Abdul Jabbar, who had the shot of 38,866, now I think LeBron James has maybe 150 shots to meet up. He's not even with, up to anymore. He's, he's not even up to so. any, he's not even up to, I'm just, uh, you know, um, estimating it because by the time he plays the All Star game now, I'm very sure the goal margin between himself and Abdul Jabbar point <laughs> will be far fetched. Okay, we're still talking about the result now. Let's actually not divert to LeBron. We're still coming to LeBron later when we call, talk about the All-Star game. But right now, uh, from these results, you can see LA Clippers. They fought hard uh, against the uh, Chicago Bulls. They are winning that game. Yes. Uh, actually, LA, LA Clippers uh, in this uh, season are performing very, very good. Anytime they meet with LeBron James, the LA Clippers, because when they started the game, the first three matches they started was Lakers, and Knicks. But now it has changed. And but anytime they meet, they always give themselves a uh, back to back stretch of uh, basketball. Uh, but talking about uh, the LA Lakers, they have to win that game because they need win right now. Now that the All Star game is All Star game is coming and everybody is trying to make his statistics perfect so that you'll be among the All Star game winners coming uh, soon uh, next week. Well, uh, we look at Milwaukee Bucks there, 124 against Charlotte Hornets uh, at Santa Compo. Among the scorers there, it did well, scoring above 30. Uh, you look at uh, Milwaukee Bucks right now in the Eastern Conference, mm -hmm. they've shown class. Uh, even though uh, you look at their main man, who will be the captain of the, uh, the All-Star for the Eastern side. Uh, but right now, uh, there's no Milwaukee Bucks. Seems uh, it's, it's like uh, no Gianni, no Gianni, no, no uh, Milwaukee. That, that's exactly how it is because now uh, what even made uh, him to back the to be among the captain, you know, he was the one that was in line to be the captain for the East. So what made him? That he has he has like double, triple, throw. He made 36 points in the game, 10 rebounds, three, three nines, and also. And also, you know, he will make free throws. He doesn't, make, he, he doesn't miss any free throw there. He has carved a need for himself because he's the kind of player that does not only play for himself. He always carry his teammate along. At times, you wonder if Milwaukee Books have coach. The coach don't stand up from the bench. He will just give them instruction from the locker room. And when they come to play, it's a blast because he's a very good player. And that's why he's, make, he's the captain uh, for come All-Star Games next week. Well, from the way it is now, when you look at uh, Milwaukee Bucks, uh, they are really raring to go in the Instant Conference, giving you updates concerning uh, the NBA result there. New Orleans Pelicans, 113 against Denver Norget mm -hmm. uh, from Colorado. They also show class uh, doing well in that particular game. Now, let's, uh, uh, even though the All-Star game is still a bit far away, mm -hmm. and the next 19 days there, about exactly. February 19, and a lot of people can't wait to see the All-Star. Let, let's start, let's talk about the uh, All-Star game now, uh, the way it will become up. Uh, that should be in Salt Lake City in Utah. Exactly. Uh, you expect uh, LeBron to lead uh, the Western Conference and also uh, Gianni at Tentacompo to lead the Eastern Conference. Exactly. Uh, looking at the Eastern Conference starters now, let's mm -hmm. start, start with that uh, quickly before uh, he will be talking about it. Uh, Eastern Conference starters now we have uh, Gian at Tentacompo, Milwaukee Bucks, Kevin Durant, Jason Tatum of Boston Celtics. You have uh, Bonoba Mitchell of Cleveland Cavaliers. You have Kari Avino, Brooklyn mm -hmm. Nets. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the Western Conference uh, starters now, LeBron you have James. LeBron James, uh, who actually is the captain, mm -hmm. Nikola Jokic, Denver Nugget, Zion Williamson, mm -hmm. uh, New Orleans Pelicans, uh, Stephen Curry, mm -hmm. uh, Golden State Warriors. You have uh, Luka Doncic mm -hmm. of Dallas Mavericks. Uh, okay. KB, uh, look at these uh, two groups, <laughs> a, a tough one. <laughs> yeah, it's a very tough one because if you look at the way the All-Star games were picked this year, it was quite different from the way it has been picked all this while previously. Because before it was East and West kind of format in NBA, mm -hmm. but now it has changed. Now the formats are three. Number one, they will take the vote of a fan, a fan of a particular club. Two, the media of a club will also have their own fans, that's two. Then the three now is left for the team. Mm -hmm. which is a very, very good, uh, 
it's a very, very good selection. That's why it's like this. Because if you look at the rate at which they are picking players now, if you don't have 11 MVP to 14 MVP, you are not going to be among the start top liners. Because what they need here, they call it all-star game. So when you have people like LeBron James in the same team, you have, um, you have um, Steve Curry, you have Don Cheech, Luca. This, you, if you watch the game that day, it's, I, I don't even know what's going to happen because it's like the picking was, is just absolute for the well, All-Star game. While we're talking about the All-Star game, let's look at the graphic design of that particular, gra the, Western, the Eastern starters now, talking about uh, the East and West uh, Coast. It's going to be a tough one when it comes to the NBA, while we're talking about that. But uh, anyway, let's look at LeBron James, LeBron James' record. As we look at, uh, he's uh, he really trying to chase a lot of record there. If James passes the record beforehand, could be a celebration of his breaking a record that Abdul Jabbar has had for nearly 40 years. James mm -hmm. is 157 points away from Abdul Jabbar's career, mm -hmm. scoring a total of 38,387 points mm -hmm. at his current average of 29.9 points per game. James will need just over five games to break the record, and if he doesn't miss any games in the interim, mm -hmm. will be on pace to pass Abdul Jabbar in the February 7 home game against Oklahoma City. James is now tied with Abu Jabba for most All-Star selections. And if James plays in Salt Lake City, he will become the first player in NBA history to actually appear in 19 All-Star games. Abu Jabba was selected to the 1973 game but did not play. James is the first player to be selected to 19 consecutive All-Star games until Thursday. He shared that record with 18-time selection Kobe Bryant, late. Uh, the Lakers legend who died January 26, 2020, exactly three years to a day from Thursday. And uh, if James starts 19 times doing so, four more any, than anyone in the league history. Brian made 15 starts. Mm. The 19 start in a row extend another all star record. But Cozy has the second longest such streak, having started 13 straight. James also is the career all star leader mm. in minutes, points, feed goals made, and feed goals attempted. <laughs> what a record! That's, that's absolute. Hmm. That's absolute because LeBron James actually for himself, uh, he, he, he's the kind of player that always, you know, he always says something, play hard or go home. That play hard or go home means if you know you cannot help your team, then step down for somebody who will come for the team uh, to make themselves a worthwhile, especially when it comes to the game of basketball. And look at it now, he has just one round, 57 points to meet up with Karib Abdujabal, 38,157 points. Now, if he, plays, if he plays the remaining game before the 19th of um, this month, or next month that the All-Star game will be played. So I just look at, look at the point. Let's say if he has rebound per game, let's say if he has like 26 points in three games now again, he has like three, let's say six, three, nine points, then maybe from 45 out of the paint, he shoots three points. <laughs> what will you be with stati his statistic? If he plays like four, five matches now, right mm -hmm. now like this, He's going to be, in fact, he's going to supersede Karib Abdul-Jabbar's record because he has kept carving it for himself. And look at what they said when you are reading out what he said. Karim Abdul-Jabbar was actually picked, but he did not play. He did not play. But now LeBron was picked, and now he is going to play. So there are two different streaks entirely. The winning streak for LeBron James has been quite intimidating, and yes, enough respect to him. We've been talking concerning LeBron James uh, and also about the NBA. Give me your updates concerning reason also the All-Star Games coming on February 19. It's just uh, going to be a big one there. People can't wait to see what's going to be happening between uh, Giannis Atetokounmpo and also uh, LeBron James where they will be fighting for honors for the 19th time. The man playing for LA Lakers has been in that particular team. Now we divert a bit from basketball, and we moved to football again. Well, uh, before we moved to football, we were waiting for Ken De Osagede, the media officer of Vende Insurance, who actually topped the table in the Group A of the MPFA Abridged League. Uh, uh, good to have you, Ken De Osagede. Good morning, thank you. Yes. Sir. And, uh, is, uh, I feel good uh, you having me here. OK, how is my degree? My degree is fine. And, uh, Yes, it is money. Hmm. Uh, cold dust mixed together. Okay, so but let's it's okay. talk about your team, Bender Insurance. Thank you. How prepared is Bender Insurance right now? Are you guys are ready to face El Kanemi Warriors. Yes, of course. That is why we are here. We are not here for a joke. <laughs> Go ahead. 
Okay, uh, while we're waiting for him to join us again, uh, hopefully he will be there to give us more concerning Bende Insurance. Uh, we have to quickly talk about uh, African Nations Championship chant where uh, Senegal, also Algeria. Okay, while we are now we have him yes, back, yes. Kende, you are there. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, let's talk about your team. I was asking yeah. you in preparation, Bende Insurance El Kanemi will be coming up uh, this evening by 4 p.m. How ready is your team? Okay, uh, well, it seems uh, Network is not our friend there, Osagade. If you're still going to be joining us, we'll be having you as we continue the show. African Nations Cup, the only Cup chant taking place in Algeria. Algeria really did well, walloping the J Republic 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Talking about the result there, you look at Senegal also winning by 1 0 against Madagascar. Well, as expected, the teams were, uh, actually did well, Algeria, Senegal, the two teams will be fighting in the finals. Uh, well, from the way it is, Algeria, the host nation versus Senegal. Who will win this particular battle? The Teranga Lions, that's the home base uh, team, uh, for talking about those who have applied their trade in Africa versus Algeria, they will be facing themselves. Why Nigeria Republic and Madagascar will be fighting for third place uh, in that particular competition. Well, from the way it is, Algeria, really, they did well against Niger. And funny enough, Niger defeated Ghana uh, in the competition. Uh, they ousted Ghana uh, before this particular game. And it's so surprising that the same Niger, they lost out to uh, Algeria. Well, uh, Senegal, for the Senegal, they were able to win against Madagascar. Uh, it was a good one for them. It was a peep, just a long goal. And right now, they were able uh, to qualify with facing uh, Algeria. Good one there. Well, Kenny, are you still there? Okay, uh, from the way it is, uh, uh, Kenny won't be able to join us because of a uh, network issue, but we'll quickly talk about uh, uh, the Nations Cup taking place there. That's not Chan, the African Nations Cup. Uh, they are, that's uh, the one they call Chan, where the home base African players have been fighting for honors in Algeria. But right now, Algeria versus Senegal will be coming up on the fourth, and you have Niger versus Madagascar fighting for the third place, who win the battle between the menace of Niger Republic and Madagascar. Well, Ghana, they will be biting at that because they will be sure that even if they face Algeria, it won't be as easy the way Algeria walloped Niger Republic 5-0 in that particular encounter. Talking about charm there. Now, let's talk about transfer. There are transfer here and there. Uh, just uh, looking at uh, players, making it deadline day. But right now, we're talking about a player, Enzo Fernandez. Chelsea. Chelsea agreed British record around £7 million fee for Benfica midfielder Enzo Fernandez. Uh, from the way it is, that particular deal makes it uh, the sixth costless uh, transfer deal in history alongside Antoine Griezmann, making it £107 million when he moved to Barcelona. But right now, a good one for uh, Enzo Fernandez, a player that was actually uh, purchased for £10 million in August. And in January, it cost £107 million. What a way to go. Chelsea really splashing the cash when it comes to a lot of transfer this year and there. But for Enzo, he will be happy that at least finally that DLC I was able to make it almost at the dot of time. They were able to sign Enzo Fernandez. And right now, Chelsea have really uh, bought a lot of players when it comes to transfer deals here and there. And just can't take that away from them. But from the way it is, uh, we just have to look at some transfer stories uh, that actually made the deadline day. Starting from uh, talking about deadline day transfers, we have our own Polo Nacho there. Let's look at the deadline day transfers as we talk about them there. Well, from the way it is, we have uh, Polo Nacho making that particular list. You have uh, uh, Kamaldin Suleimana. Nacho moved uh, on an undisclosed fee, uh, talking about uh, from Genk to Southampton. Kamaldin Suleimana from Reigns to also Southampton, 22 million pounds. The Ghanaian player right now celebrating the fact that he was able to make that uh, move. A good one for him, uh, being able to try transfer from France to England. Let's see what he'll be offering. And also Onuachu, uh, who right now is a player of uh, Southampton. Marcel Sabisa from Bayern Munich to Manchester United. Although unknown, he will be joining them over there at Old Trafford. We'll be adding to that team uh, right now. Kylian Navas, the goalkeeper uh, from PSG. He has moved to Nottingham Forest, also on loan. 
Good one for Kilo Navas, who really wanted that particular move away. And now it has happened. You know, we play in England. We have Jonjo Shelby, Newcastle United to Nottingham Forest, also undisclosed. He has also moved away from Newcastle to Nottingham Forest. And you look at Pedro Porro, sporting Lisbon to Tottenham Hotspur. Well, from the way it is right now, Porro will be hoping that uh, he will perform well in Tottenham because he has an obligation to make that deal permanent for £40 million. Uh, Porro moved that and uh, make that move. So Tottenham or Sport on loan. And right now, if he performs well, an option to buy for £40 million pounds are with uh, uh, Tottenham and also uh, Pedro Polo staying. For Alba Sambi Lokonga, when news came out that Arsenal will not be ready to sell him, no, no one actually knew that underground Crystal Palace was pulling some strings and it worked out for Crystal Palace. On loan, they've got in this player called Alba Sambi Lokonga, who has now moved uh, to join Crystal Palace uh, from Arsenal. Well, Arsenal right now, they at least have prepared to make sure uh, they have players that quite have to, uh, uh, take place there, take that particular position there. You have uh, Joginho moving to Arsenal. Good one for them, uh, especially Joginho right now, who has moved, is joining Arsenal. And uh, right now, some are saying, why is Arsenal always coming for Chelsea players? That's football is always intertwined. Both of them are uh, uh, exchanging players. Felipe from Atletico Madrid also moved to Nottingham Forest. Undisclosed, you look at uh, Felipe moving away from uh, Atletico Madrid. What happened? What well, that's football for you? And you have Ahmed Traore, Sassuolo to burn him out on loan with obligation to buy uh, right now. Well, for the, uh, the Traore player, Sassuolo to burn him out. He needs to off his game because uh, the pace in the EPL is very, very high. So for Ahmed Traore, he will be uh, right now with burn him out. As I said earlier, Joaquinho joining Arsenal for 12 million pounds. And you look at a particular deal, uh, no one saw that coming, but right now it has happened. Chelsea, uh, you have uh, them at least allowing Joginho to move uh, from the market value of uh, 35 million euro. And you have, uh, finally, he was able to move for 11. Also, Anthony Gordon did well. He was able to move uh, for 45.6 million euro, market value of 40, 14 million euro. But Gordon right now is a Newcastle player who has moved to join them at St. James Park. Good one for him. Not forgetting Hector Bellerin, able to also make it on deadline day to Sporting. Uh, good one for Hector Bellerin, the player that moved for 15, uh, rather, uh, the market value was 15 million euro. But right now, Hector is happy that he's able to move away. Talking about all the transfer did that happen. Yes, Marcel Sabisa uh, on loan. Although the market value says 20 million euro, but now he has moved to join Manchester United from Bayern. And not forgetting the fact that uh, Cancelo also was able to move to, uh, to Bayern from uh, Manchester City. Swapping players from the city of Manchester there, although from Manchester City to, Bas uh, to Bayern. And Marcel Sabisa will be adding more sparks to Manchester United as he has moved to join them over there at Old Trafford. Looking at all the transfers that happened uh, just at the uh, dot of time, talking about the closing day of uh, transfer in England, and really a lot of players moving, and you look at uh, Spain, Germany, moving around. For Bayern, they were able to get Joao Cancelo from Manchester City and allowing Sabisa to move to Manchester United. A lot of transfer here at the end, not forgetting the fact that uh, Tolu Arukudare has moved to join uh, Genk to replace Paul Onoachu uh, for the fact that Paul has joined some town team. A lot of Nigerians are right now playing their trade in the EPL. Let's see, maybe he will be able to score more goals uh, for his, uh, the club he just joined, talking about uh, some town team uh, from uh, Genk. He was able to score about 14 goals for them this season, and now that he has moved to EPL, hopefully. Paul Onachu will be able to bear the pace and at least perform very well when it comes to playing at St. Mary's and all the other 19 stadia over there in uh, English Premier League. Talking about Paul Onachu, Tolu Arukudari will be happy that he has joined Genk and let's see what he'll be offering them. He joined from Amiens Second Division from France and you have him uh, from a team, actually, have a, uh, his deal from Labia. But from the way it is, a lot of uh, uh, players that move around for EPL. They spent more than, uh, if you calculate how much they spent so far, this January transfer window, almost uh, a billion pounds. And just look at the fact that EPA always ahead when it comes to buying players. Chelsea, you know, they spent a lot of money 
uh, over 300 million pounds they spent so far. For Enzo Fernandez, the player that worth 10 million pounds in August and now is worth 107 million pounds. Coupled with the fact that he was able to win the World Cup and he did so well at the World Cup and that really made his foundation to be so high. Right now, Chelsea getting this player for that whooping amount of money, a big one for Enzo, and hopefully it will add more sparks to uh, Chelsea by the time he moves. Chelsea are really bought a lot of players this season, and hopefully that team really uh, lets us see what the player they've acquired will be offering them. Now, uh, Lokonga joining Crystal Palace, a big one for Crystal Palace getting this player. Hopefully, it will add a lot of sparks uh, to Crystal Palace, a good one uh, for Crystal Palace there. Talking about all the transfer that happened over just uh, at the dot of uh, January 31st, before the month starts for February. A lot of uh, players moving here and there, and just can't take it away, that while EPA was spending over a billion pounds, you know that uh, La Liga spent really less amount of money. In fact, it's not even up to 50 million pounds. But for uh, EPL, they wanted a lot of players and they got them. We tried to link up with Kenny Osagede, the media officer of Bende Insurance, but no thanks to Network uh, for the fact that they couldn't talk with us for long. I'm uh, talking about Bende Insurance facing uh, El Kalemi Warriors in Meduguri in the midweek match that has to do with the Group A and B of the Nigerian Professional Football League, a big league taking place across Nigeria. And earlier on, we talked with uh, Kabiru uh, Lawal on NBA, where we talk about the all-star game and also the NBA resort, uh, where you actually give us some analysis there. We want to appreciate your time with us, Thank you uh, Kabiru Lawal. Thank you very much. And from me to you out there, I am Adeni Ajisha Fair Sport. It's always business and fitness. Thanks for watching.